it is already an assault on these people in, in a sort of legal sense, mm -hmm. and they should get. They, uh, and, but if they get out now, then it won't get any worse. Right. Yes. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is the government must uh, urgently overfly the area and mm -hmm. produce accurate radiation density maps, mm -hmm. which is which which is old technology. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no problem about it. Could have done it long ago, and maybe they even have. Mm. Because the people need to have the information. Mm -hmm. uh, the information is just not there. Mm. Uh, this information has to be printed out and put on the internet, and everyone needs to know what. what so they know where they can go and where they can't. Where it's going to be radioactive, where it isn't going to be radioactive, mm -hmm. and then they can make their decision about this. Mm -hmm. Then, in my opinion, areas that are contaminated at approximately the same level as the Chernobyl exclusion zone should be fenced off. And, mm. and this is nothing to do with 30 kilometers. Some mm. of this stuff is out at 120 kilometers. Mm. Mm. And if this was like your, if this was poison gas mm -hmm. and it was going to kill you tomorrow, people would be, be running. They'd be running. Right. But what I'm saying is it is poison gas. It's just not going to kill you tomorrow. It's going to kill you like a few years' time, you see? You know, the third thing is that people who have to remain in areas of slightly lower radioactivity but which are still contaminated mm -hmm. should be compensated uh, because this is an assault. It's, it's just the same as if someone was hit on the head with a, with a log. Right. You know? uh, they've been assaulted. Some, uh, their bodies have been contaminated with material which uh, has a significant chance of killing them. Mm. And under any legal system in the world, this mm. is illegal. This mm -hmm. is against the law. So what can you do about that? Well, you, you can certainly compensate them for that and the people who should compensate them are of course the people who contaminated them mm -hmm. so the nuclear industry and also therefore the, co the, comp yeah, the compensation uh, not just from the Japanese nuclear industry but also from the international nuclear industry because I see this as kind of global this is a sort of global problem right right the, uh, the next thing you have to do is you have to with uh, throw s as much money as the world has mm -hmm at sealing those reactors. Mm -hmm. if, it, if, you have to, if you have to mine underneath them and put concrete bases and then put a glow, dome over the top of them, and if it costs a trillion dollars, mm -hmm. then it has to be done. Right. Because this, is, this stuff's coming out all the time, mm -hmm. and it's going to slowly make the whole of North Japan into a radioactive wasteland, like mm -hmm. Ma Mad Max or some horror movie from the future. Mm -hmm. But not only that, it's going to get all around the globe. We've picked up plutonium in England, there's plutonium in Hawaii, there's plutonium in Guam, there's mm -hmm. plutonium in, in the western part of the United States. Mm -hmm. so, so this is a global problem and it needs a global solution. So it's not enough to say, oh, well, it's the Japanese people's problem, you know, the tough luck and all the rest of it. It's got to be sorted out very quickly because mm. because huge amounts of these radionuclides are coming out of those reactors every minute mm. and, and nothing is stopping them. Mm. So No, yes, there was one other thing that has to be... You have to, you have to monitor the air uh, concentration of these substances. So mm. there has to be a ring... Just in the United Kingdom we have but nuclear sites, we put a ring of monitors around them. Uh, the government at the moment is not publishing the concentrations of a whole range of radionuclides which are extremely serious. Mm -hmm. All they do is they go around there and they measure cesium. Strontium-90, right. tritium, plutonium, uranium. Uranium mm -hmm. that we now know to be one of the most serious uh, genotoxic elements yes. you know, in this form of particles that has ever existed. Mm -hmm. In this study that I did in Fallujah, um, we found uranium in the hair of, of, the, ch of the parents mm -hmm. of the children and we found enormous levels of congenital malformation huge levels of cancer mm -hmm. as a result of exposure to uranium. It's a nightmare. Well, you I'm said that before, you said that so, several lectures, you've said that um, this is the Fukushima problem issue. It's something that could trigger to change the whole world and how we can change the nuclear industry of the world. And, um, and so we were wondering why you think that why you think that this Japan uh, Fukushima problem uh, or disaster yeah. can lead to change in the world stance? Okay, well, the, the, the culture of the world has become complacent with regard to these sorts of science based threats. And Fukushima, the Fukushima problem has brought everybody up short, suddenly, out of the blue. Mm. There has been this accident which, which is, has, has unimaginably serious consequences. Mm. And what, what I believe it will do is to cause everyone to start questioning scientists, mm. to start questioning experts, and to start questioning the way in which we see the world in terms of truth that's handed down by experts and expert scientists, mm -hmm. who are actually 
nowadays not, not even really experts and not even really scientists in the sense that I understand a scientist who is somebody who searches for the, for the truth for the sake of the truth. Mm. And what I think I've said and I, and I believe that scientists nowadays are bought and sold by a big business. And so what the scientists will tell you and what the scientists will find is what big, big, big business uh, or, or even governments need in order to make money and mm. to be competitive in a sort of market forces jungle. Mm. Uh, and so, so actually nuclear power is, an abs is a perfect icon for the way in which the human race has gone astray mm -hmm. with regard to the most important things that, 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 that people, um, people need and people want. And so we, all, we are all kind of living in some sort of madhouse now where we're told what to do by scientists. And I hope and I believe that this Fukushima thing and, and the appallingness of it will cause everybody to sit up straight and say we have to rethink the way in which we see the world. Mm -hmm. We have to rethink the way in which scientists work and, and how we believe them and whether we believe them. Mm. Uh, and it, it's been coming a long time, this is not new, that, 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 that this groundswell of opinion mm. with regard to the, uh, the effects of science on, on everyday life has been growing slowly, 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 slowly to, it's got to a point now where it's almost like an explosive mass. And I will hope that this particular um, disaster, and that's partly why I'm here, because mm. it will catalyze a total reappra reappraisal of, of this area mm. because it's not just nuclear although mm. nuclear is a perfect example of it and mm. it enables us to go into there and see what's happened mm. but it also uh, covers an enormous uh, uh, set of, of problems that the human race is facing mobile phones are they dangerous right. genetically modified mm. food is it dangerous you know is there really global warming and if there is what can we do about it and in all of these areas we rely upon when I say we don't, but, the, but, but, but governments and policy makers rely upon evidence or, and, and advice that come from scientists who study these things. Mm. And what I want to say, but my message, is that these scientists are telling lies. For whatever reason, they're telling lies. So we have to actually... We have to find a way of, of, of doing science which is value-free. Mm -hmm. And there is such a way. There is such a way. It's not impossible. So it's almost like we individuals have to be aware of it, to be alert whether this information that this yes, scientist is yes, releasing yes. is, whether it's true or not. We're kind of, we're, kind of on, we're, on the, we're on the, di we're on the deck of the Titanic and the mm -hmm. caption is steering according to a plan which has been given to him by people who are false and who are lying mm -hmm. and are doing it for money. Mm 